resilience is improved. And we must make sure that we as media and also as viewers and readers don't let ourselves be distracted because often um, revelations or wiretapping wire of candidates can be the big story rather than the real substance. And also headlines are not actually reflective of the truth. This week we've had stories all over international press about Putin's so-called peace plan where he was proposing to take over even more Ukrainian territory for a fake promise of peace. And this was repeated all over without any sort of critical thinking. Furthermore, I think it's also important that we don't allow other conflicts to be used to, um, by, um, to divide the support for Ukraine. I've spoken with uh, Ukrainians in Denmark and they are being targeted. Their um, social media platforms are being targeted by people saying, well, the war in Ukraine is not really important because we need to talk about Gaza. We need to talk about Gaza, we need to talk about what's going on there, but it must not be used as an excuse for shutting up other people. Um, so we need to make sure that we actually follow the story, we follow what's happening, and not get ourselves diverted. Um, 